Okay, today is January the 4th, 2018, and right now at 10 p.m., we have a temperature of 62 degrees in San Diego, California. The uh, relative humidity is 59%, and the dew point is 47 degrees, and we have a barometric pressure right now of 30.11 inches, and we're looking at the uh, North Atlantic Rainbow map, the infrared map. We can see a 952 millibar hurricane force storm uh, moving up the coast of the United States. And uh, this is a very strong storm. We have a right angle uh, right here. We can see that. So there is high pressure being forced into the center of this low. And that's causing this uh, right angle and a lot of wild wind and, and uh, a crazy weather. So, and there is a an occluded front showing up on the uh, surface map for the Atlantic. We'll show that here in a second. So how in the world would warm a, a warm front, an occluded front, show up in the middle of a uh, low pressure system like this, other than a transmitter manipulated uh, scenario? Here we uh, see the water vapor map. See that right angle? And so high pressure is being forced into this system here. And we can see the clockwise rotation, which is forcing a lot of this moisture away from wrapping back around into that vortex. So uh, forcing high pressure into a storm like this will amplify its characteristics. We have a lot of wind right here where these two pressure gradients are, and uh, we'll have to see on the news what would happen in terms of the wind and how many people uh, don't have power and all that sort of thing. Okay, so uh, here we are. We have the uh, infrared map. Once again, we see a lot of red, very powerful storm. And uh, we can take a look here at the uh, surface analysis map, which uh, shows the storm right here, this 952 millibar hurricane force system. And here we see a purple occluded front right in the middle of this hurricane force system. This is a warm front overtaking a cold front. So where do we get warm air in the middle of a hurricane force storm, descending air in the middle of a giant a storm? That's just uh, not realistic. And of course, this is not being discussed on television. But the answer to the question is, is that we have a transmitter forcing high pressure that's causing all the clockwise rotation and the right angle on this storm system. So there's the verification right there, a warm front uh, overtaking a cold front. We can see that here once again uh, on the uh, in the uh, water vapor map. That's causing this right angle right here, this unnatural, man-made, installed high pressure right in the middle of that hurricane force storm. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, west coast. This is the northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We have a, uh, a weather system down here shows up as a closed low on the 500 and 300 millibar maps. And uh, this also is being manipulated. We can see uh, some straight edges right here and along this edge. And the moisture from this uh, low pressure system right here is all moving right towards central and southern California. This is right down at 20 degrees north, right along the uh, Hawaiian Islands uh, latitudes right here. And uh, so uh, today in Los Angeles, we saw a lot of uh, chemtrail spraying. The same is true for down in uh, the San Diego area. It wasn't as intense. But by tomorrow, with all this moisture moving in, uh, we should expect to see a lot of uh, chemtrail spraying since there is no uh, rain forecast uh, for tomorrow, which will be uh, Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. And uh, we do have currently have a forecast for rain on Monday and Tuesday. And that would presumably come from this uh, weather system right here. If we go back to the, uh, the other map, take this grid off, we can see that there is a man-made high pressure uh, blockade built in right here with a transmitter. And that is separating this warmer tropical flow from the North Pacific uh, flow pattern. And what we're seeing here is a lot of evaporation. This uh, area right here full of moisture just evaporates as soon as it gets right down into this high pressure zone. Let's take a look at that right here on the uh, western U.S. water vapor loop. We can see the uh, this uh, blockade, this uh, barricade, this fence. I call it an electronic fence. 
And if we look at this in the, uh, the infrared map, we can really see the evaporation pattern right here. All that moisture just, just uh, evaporating. Okay, so we can see the, uh, the moisture right here, this uh, tropical flow moving right into California by tomorrow. Uh, we should see, uh, we would expect to see a lot more chemtrails in the skies. Very heavy spring since there is no rain in the forecast. Also, the uh, Doppler map uh, right now confirms that there is no rain in the uh, Southern California area down here. We, we see some rain near a Point Conception, which is right near a Lompoc and uh, Vandenberg Air Force Base right there. So they are getting some rain and also in Northern California as well. Now we can uh, try to, uh, let's take a look, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the bigger map here. In the meantime, let's look at the uh, sea level pressure map. We can see the uh, high pressure out here, which is uh, just north uh, east of the Hawaiian Islands. That's gonna block, there's a dual storm system up here near the uh, Aleutian Islands. That's going to probably block this uh, as it drops down, and we may get the rain from this uh, system right here. It's not clear. Uh, the people on TV uh, have been saying rain for Monday and Tuesday, but they haven't uh, said where it's coming from. Uh, it's not clear because of the cartoon animated uh, maps that were shown. Uh, they just show these uh, circles with an H and an L, and uh, they point uh, to those cartoon maps, and we don't know what's going to happen uh, from one day to the next. Actually, they don't. So here we have the 500 millibar map. We see some squiggly lines here. That indicates some transmitter manipulation at this uh, level here. Those should be smooth flowing isobars. There should be no uh, jaggy lines anywhere in these uh, isobars. We can see a couple of lows here and here. And we've got one right down here. This is that low right near the uh, latitude of the Hawaiian Islands right down here. Let's go to the uh, 300 millibar. We see that uh, area right there, low pressure. All that moisture is moving right up towards California. All right, let's take a look uh, again at the western uh, U.S. map. And uh, we should be getting rain starting right about now in the Southern California area with this flow pattern right here. And we are seeing some rain right there at uh, Vandenberg Air Force Base and Lompoc and at Point Conception. Those are right there on that point. So by tomorrow, um, we'll just have to wait and see. But if the pattern holds true, we should see a lot of uh, chemtrails in the skies over Los Angeles and points south since they're not going to allow the rain until Monday, Tuesday, that time frame. So we'll have to see what they give us. Okay, that's it. Uh, we'll just uh, leave it right uh, right, uh, right here, at right angle on that uh, giant 952 millibar hurricane force storm system right here over the uh, northeast. We'll tune in tomorrow and see what kind of damage that caused. Okay, that's it.